guys, what's up? This is Chisinau, the capital of Moldova. I'm here in a uh, central park. Let's see, we got live music going on here. Rock and roll. So it is a Sunday evening. Middle of summer, middle of August. And a nice uh, music scene going on here. And this is one of those videos of mine in which I was not planning to film a video right now. I went out to go to the store to get some water and stuff for breakfast. Decided to uh, go for a little walk and looked on Google Maps and saw that the Central Square wasn't too far from my uh, apartment. I have like a apartment in an apartment complex that I booked for five nights here. Hello. So, I don't know if that was Moldovan or Russian. Sounded a little like Konnichiwa in Japanese, but obviously not, but uh... And so I have just uh, five days here in Chisinau and I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, get out of the city to uh, some of the outlying villages or not. We'll see in the coming days. But I will do my best to uh, capture more of this very little known but very interesting, authentic, non-touristy country in Eastern Europe that is really kind of a, a forgotten part of the world and as a result 
there is a realness to it that is so different from Western Europe. I was just in the French Riviera, Cannes and Nice in France, on the Mediterranean, and yeah, they're worth visiting, certainly. They're, you know, nice beach uh, paradise shopping destinations, beautiful cities and villages. I went to some little uh, villages in the hills. I didn't film at that time because I was taking a break. I was uh, hanging out with a friend and just kind of taking a break with the uh, filming and um, also working on the editing at the time, catching up, and I didn't want more footage than I could deal with because I knew that I was going here next and wanted to be kind of free of work to focus on, on this here. And so, anyways, I, uh, you know, enjoyed my eight days that I spent in the French Riviera. It's beautiful and safe and good food and all that, but it is also just over-touristy and we've all seen stuff about France and the French Riviera and the Cannes Music Festival and various French stuff and just Western Europe in general. And so I think this is the Chisinau Cathedral. And so Western Europe has been known to the world for a long time and it has gotten a bit mixed up, I would say, with just kind of losing a certain amount of its uh, pureness, its kind of old identity. And as a result, then it has just kind of lost something to some extent, even though it's still, you know, absolutely worth exploring. But there's something about coming to these countries that have not been overrun by tourism that have not been Americanized and there is no Starbucks in Chisinau. I have seen a few McDonald's. And so it depends on what kind of a traveling experience you enjoy. It may not be your uh, preferred kind of a uh, week vacation, but for those who are curious to see parts of the world that are truly unique, and when you get there, it's going to be a bit of a surprise, like, whoa, I never knew what to expect, never seen culture quite like this, I mean, seen that like rock and roll show there, and the, uh, kind of punk youth hanging out and they're just kind of doing their own thing here without the rest of the world watching just living their lives and it is not the uh, you know cleanest or uh, most fancy built up with uh, skyscrapers and all that uh, kind of a city there are a lot of old, very uh, grungy, gritty, derelict looking Soviet era apartment buildings, some of which are like unfinished, others that are all rusted out and uh, just look really drab. And But uh, part of the deal with Chisinau here is that it got destroyed in various different ways over the uh, decades, especially around World War II, there were two devastating earthquakes here in 1940 that really damaged the city. And then during World War II, then it got taken by the Soviets. And so there was fighting going on here that uh, heavily damaged the city. And so basically the uh, historical city was just leveled and as a result then it is mostly newer buildings or at least 
since that time period, especially during the Soviet era. And then those buildings just do not age well. Here's the exchange rate, US dollar to the Moldovan lei. Buy and sell, Euro, so 1770 to the US dollar, 1960 to the Euro. And it is very inexpensive here. And I am just uh, walking aimlessly now. I'm actually heading back in the general direction of my uh, apartment and the store that I was going to originally. So this is, you know, not uncommon to see sidewalks just all dug up and um, in the uh, underpasses and like the bricks are missing and there's all kinds of neglect and this is the capital city And I hear some more music. I'll head in that direction and see what uh, is going on there. I'm guessing probably a bar that's blasting some music. Moldovita Restaurant, Cafe Bistro Bar. Memorial to the Victims of Deportations. Railway Station, Church, Cathedral of the Ascension, Organ Hall, National Theater, Old Synagogue, Synagogue of the Glaziers, Glaziers, Cemetery, another theater, this way. So there's plenty to see in Chisinau. And keep in mind that it is a Sunday evening and so more of the uh, shops are closed and less people out probably. I'm sure middle of the uh, day on a weekday it will be a bit busier around. And you hear a lot of sirens in this city. It's a little kitten, three little kittens. Just thought that I would end it with this uh, colorful street here.
looks like there was a market going on here before. Just sweeping it up. Beatles song in the background there. Look at all the lonely people. Huh, so this is like some kind of a big uh, market area, I guess. Plata Centrala, like Central Plaza, I guess. All right, more coming from Moldova, see ya.